In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed the thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Today's Gospel reading for Wednesday of the second week of Lent recounts how our blessed Lord, going up to Jerusalem, took the twelve disciples aside and told them what awaited him. Betrayal, capture, condemnation to death, mocking, scourging, crucifixion, and that lastly, he will rise on the third day. Consider that his passion continues today, ever living, for he is mocked by those Christians, false Christians, who deride him through prayers and genuflections, while leading a life at variance with the Christ-like life. He is cursed over and over again by those who give scandal to the young and weak. He is killed all over again by confirmed sinners, by those living in habitual mortal sin. Despite the many sermons heard by this class of Christians, little fruit is produced in their souls on account of laziness that is lot and willful hardness of heart through indifference and insensibility. One sermon perfectly converted one who had been long enslaved to the world and his passions and made him a saint. And he is given to us today to venerate and to imitate. We speak of Saint John of God. Dear faithful, make it a point not to be numbered among those who mock our Lord today by living lives contrary to their external show of piety and devotion, nor among those who give scandal to the young or weak, nor among those living in habitual mortal sin. Like St. John of God, be converted to God with your whole heart and live your days in fitting piety and unmolested devotion. God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.